Joey boy, we have got our guy. Yes, people, welcome back to the 1894 for a brand new Erling Haaland video. And we finally have a breakthrough. We've been talking about this guy for so long. And finally, reliable sources, people worth talking about, i.e. Mike Keegan from the Daily Mail, has come out with a bombazo tonight. And he's saying, late this evening, I was in work, I'm literally just home from work, and I was about to fall asleep, I was about to head up to bed, I'm scrolling through Twitter, bang, Erling Haaland news. And here we go, we're going to break it down. Here is essentially the big one that you people want to hear that is breaking. Man City have agreed terms with Erling Haaland's representatives. Now, over the last few weeks, Joe, it has always been, oh, City are in pole position, City are offering the best package, Real Madrid are still in the race, Real Madrid are out of the race, they're back in the race. Back and forth, no real confirmation as to what Haaland wants. People were saying he prefers the City project, but Real Madrid still lingering about. Now, Mike Keegan from the Daily Mail, who is a reliable source, people, I can confirm to you he's reliable, is saying City have agreed terms with Haaland's representatives. That means... Um, they most likely agreed his wage. They've agreed with his representatives, means they've agreed with Raiola. So you'd imagine the agent's fee has been met with Raiola and Alfie Haaland, which is huge, because there was a question mark over how much Raiola's going to want. And of course, Alfie, his father's going to want as well. And then the next part of this report, it was, it was a long article, but we've, we've got the best parts here. It says, um, Man City are now expected to trigger Haaland's £63 million release clause at Borussia Dortmund. And if all goes according to plan, what is likely to be a five-year deal should be sealed in the next week or so. Now, I have been saying this is going to happen very soon. And now it's happening, according to Mike Keegan, if all goes to plan, in the next week or so. Joe, this is amazing news uh, that we're looking like we're on the brink of closing in the transfer that we've been holding on to and waiting for for so long. Yeah, it seems to have... Again, it's still not fully come to a close. Like, you just still got to, you know cross your T's, dot your I's, all that sort of thing, get the paperwork signed. But apart from that, like, there's not really much stopping it now. If we've if we've agreed terms, then who can really stop it at this point? It's the news that we all wanted to hear, that we've all finally got, of course, about a month or so ago, we had Jack Gorn say that City thought they had something in place. They thought that there was nothing going to stop the deal. And now it's pretty much confirmed that that was the case and it's pretty much done. And... It's the transfer that we all want, regardless of, you know, how long he's going to be here. He was still, like, number one priority to get him through the door. Obviously, five-year deal is about the best news we can hope for. Of course, you have to have your your queries, your questions about how long of those five years he actually is going to stay for. Um, getting minimum three, in my opinion, possibly four. Uh, I doubt he stays on after that, but, you know, it's positive. We've We've got what is arguably the missing piece of the puzzle for this team to go on and conquer absolutely everything in club football. Um, and again, just enjoy him while he's here because who knows how long he's going to be here for. We've signed a lot of fantastic players since the takeover. There's no denying a lot of players who turned out to be you know, superstars and, and grew on to be legends of the club. But this, people, it, it's, a, it's a marquee moment in Manchester City's history. When this is a here we go now, obviously this is a fantastic breakthrough in in the in the race for Haaland and it's looking like now it's good it's gonna happen. But when the here we go gets announced and when you know the club put up photos of him in the shirt and whatnot, these are all marquee moments in the history of Manchester City. This will be the first ever blockbuster signing the club have made, where you know we've gone out and sealed the signature of a of a world sought after player. You know, racing with Real Madrid. Like obviously, I'm too young to to speak on behalf of City fans who were there pre takeover, pre take pre Sheikh Mansour, pre Eddie Had Stadium. Can you imagine for the people who grew up watching City, you know, fucking York away, Grimsby away, if you told them in 20, 30 years' time you'd be challenging for every competition and you would have just signed the most sought-after striker in the world competing with Real Madrid for his signature, they'd have laughed in your face and said, stop smoking spice. Because it, 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 it's bonkers to think how far this club has come. And to get him for £63 million, pounds, uh, obviously it's his release clause, and we love a release clause in Manchester City, so it, it, I suppose it does make sense. But it's a great price for him. And Joe alluded to it a little bit. You know, it's a five-year deal, Mike Keegan is saying. 
we would hopefully get four years out of that before I think he does ultimately want to play for Real Madrid and I think Madrid will, treat, will trigger whatever release clause we implement into his contract I think when the time when push comes to shove we will discover that there's a release clause in his city contract but this is like I said people it's it's not a time for saying oh we're only going to get this amount of time at him three, four, five years at a Haaland is better than none it is an amazing signing if and when this gets done uh, and we could not not re- talk to you about this this report Joe how, how how big do you think this is I mean we can talk about all night and all day how you know he's the missing piece of the jigsaw because he is he'll finish off a lot of the chances we create but how do you feel as a City fan I, I feel proud and excited I feel excitement over everything else like it has been a good couple of years now before we've had a, a player up front who could put the ball in the back of the net reliably and often and of course there is obviously questions to how much he's going to be paid. I'm actually looking at a tweet night right now as well from Mike Keegan saying that he's going to be the Premier League's highest paid player on more than 500 grand a week, which is absolutely bonkers. I don't think any of us ever expected City to go and have the Premier League's highest earner or then one of the world's highest earners. It's something that we thought would be one of the stumbling blocks of this deal is do we upset the wage structure? And listen, it's exciting times. I feel like, I was in I was in the boat that this is never going to happen. I was just kind of submitted to it that, you know, it was going to be positive, negative, positive, negative, and it was never, ever going to happen. And to be honest, I don't even know how to react fully. Like, of course, I'm still waiting for the here we go for all the, the other announcements that we're going to get. But you can't help but feel an immense sense of, oh, my goodness, how have we done this? Like, we should never be in this position to go and essentially steal a player from Real Madrid's grasp. It's an earth-shaking move. It really is earth-shaking. And listen, I know we're, we're neck and neck with Liverpool for all these competitions year in, year out, but this is a signing that will, you know, send shockwaves throughout Liverpool Football Club uh, and the rest of the Premier League. Liverpool, you know, in fairness them, they've worked really hard to get up to where they are and, and to be on our on our necks and, and right up our arses but this is just gonna you know elevate us to a new level having a player of Haaland's quality you know finishing off chances created by players of the likes of De Bruyne Foden and Bernardo's quality it's a scary prospect for world football and as a City fan I'm so fucking here for it I'm so excited uh, when when more reports come out from other journalists or more Mike Keegan news or hopefully the here we go from Fabrizio or an announcement from City, who knows, we will of course make another video. But we, re- we really wanted to talk to you about this one because we're super excited and we imagine all of you are too. All of our Haaland videos tend to do very well. So get down below in the comments. Give us all your thoughts on this news. Five-year deal, £63 million pound release clause uh, and City have agreed terms with representatives. Get down below in the comments. Leave all your thoughts. Smash the like button if you would. It helps this video massively. helps the channel massively. And subscribe if you're new. Hold tight, Erling Haaland. It's going to be an exciting few years. Good night and God bless.